Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to click on subscribe button to support us. And click on bell icon over here. And if you like this video then click on thumbs up over here. Let's start our tutorial. Hi, this is Mr. Trockman and I want to walk you through a process of backing up your laptop. The first thing that you'll need is an external drive. You might find um, that you need an external hard drive like a, a, a big giant um, 80 gigabyte drive or maybe something as small as uh, 5 or 6 gigabytes in order to back up um, what you need. But first you're going to have to find your, your user folder and you're going to have to find your, your backup drive. So I'll walk through all those things. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to just put my backup drive in. In this case I'm going to use an SD card and I'm just going to put it into the right side of my MacBook Air. And we'll see after sliding that in. It should appear. There it is. And I've named it Dan's Backup Drive and I made sure that it's it's got it's got space on it. You'll notice there's there's more than one way to back up, and people ask us over time what's the best way. And we find that the best the way I'm going to show you of actually taking your your home drive and back and driving it and dragging it into the backup drive is probably the best way to do it. Sometimes that fails, and I'll show you what to do in that case. But nonetheless, up here you've got um, uh, you'll, you'll see that sometimes on your machine you've you've actually got. Um, time Machine turned on and I would encourage you to go into Time Machine and turn that off because indeed the, the backups that we get from Time Machine, um, you don't have access to them because it saves them as the administrator. So if, plus it uses some obscenely large space on your computer sometimes when it's trying to do the backup and it keeps part of the backup getting ready to put it onto your drive so it's like you've got, you've doubled your space. And just a bad idea. So here's the next step. The other thing that you'll see here is if I go down here where it says Finder and I click on that and I open the Finder, um, it doesn't give me much over here. This is kind of a bare bones configuration for being able to see your hard drive and you're going to want more than that. My favorite way to look at the drive is this one right here in columns. Um, but we can see uh, right here we, 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 we may not have what we need. There's, no, there's nothing that shows me my, um, my home drive, which is what I want to back up. I do see my backup drive, but I don't see the stuff I want to back up. Where's my stuff? So here, let me show you a method for that. So here I'm, I'm in my Finder. You remember once I got there by clicking on Finder and then going over here for a column view. And the next thing I want to do is configure the Finder to show me what I want to see. So I go here, click on Finder, click on Preferences. And under Preferences, I want to modify uh, what we call the, the sidebar. You can also turn on hard drives as long as I'm at it. I want to see the sidebar. And in the sidebar, if I click right here on the device, and I also click right here on hard drives, it's going to show me everything that I need. You can turn this stuff on too, but not that's not necessary. In your case, let's say your name was um, Lucinda, you would show up right here. So I'm on an account called Student because it's just a generic computer, but you would have um, one that actually had your name on it. But you don't need that. Not right now. So I'm going to close the finder preferences and you can see whatever preferences changes we made to the sidebar now show up in your sidebar. If I click right here on 109 US MSS 14, this is, this is the hard drive that's in my computer. I click on that once and you can see that there's a folder called users. I click on users. Look, there you are. So this, once again, if your name was Lucinda, you'd show up right here. But my name is student. So what I actually want to do is click on, and you'd want to do it from here. If you have your home folder over here, that's not actually the material. That's just a, um, a representation of it. But in this case, if I click on users, and here is your home folder, and you'll know it because it has a little home, that is all your stuff. It's got your programs that you've added to the computer under your, your own applications folder. It's got everything from your desktop, everything you've stored in documents. It's got things you've downloaded. It's got movies you've made. It's got music that you've made and stored. This also has your, I believe this one here also has your um, your iTunes materials. It's got pictures that you've kept, whether it's in iPhoto uh, or if it's even if it's in um, if, if you made pictures or movies on um, Photo Booth, and then anything you've ever stored in public, which is probably nothing. But to back up, it's really this simple. If I want everything, I just grab Student, I drag it over to Dan's backup drive, and I drop it on there going to say it's going to copy some stuff over. Okay, while that's working, um, I'm going to show you an alternative. 
If that fails, if it comes back and it says could not copy X and X files, what you want to do is go back into Dan's backup drive and you want to take that that folder that came over a student and just drag it to the trash and empty the trash and we'll start over. But it'll look something like this. Over here in student, probably what you want to do is just pick up the stuff that you absolutely need. So for example, pictures. And if I hold down my uh, command key, I want my pictures. I'm going to hold down command again. I want downloads. I want my documents. I want my desktop. Everything else, let's say that's where the problem was. I can then pick those up. I can go over here and I can drop them onto Dan's um, backup drive and, and they'll go in there. I'm not going to mess that right now because this is already in process. But you can see you can customize your backup a little bit. That will work. So once again, if you try to drag your home folder over and you had some sort of failure because there's actually a whole bunch of hidden files in here. It's got things like um, um, program settings and it's got bookmarks and it's got all kinds of hidden files and if there's some sort of permission problem with that and won't let you copy it over this is a way to get your essential stuff. So that's it. It's really that simple.